right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Catch and Chain. So today I'm out here gonna be starting a new series. This one's gonna be called Mid-Range Matchup. Okay, it's a little bit exactly like it sounds because you know, that's how the way it is. Let me take you back a little bit. I have way too many discs, okay? And just like every disc golfer does. But it's at a certain point your wife starts to get on you about how many discs you have. So you gotta do something about it. And I'm gonna do it in a fun and entertaining way. So I have too many discs. Uh, right now I have too many mid-ranges, it seems. So I took a couple mid-ranges from my collection, just a couple. So my mid-ranges are gonna compete together in a matchup, okay? So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna pit them against each other through nine holes. Whichever one wins is gonna be the one that I keep. I get rid of the other two, and that's how it's gonna work. That's how I'm going to get rid of my discs and still have a good time with them. One last final hurrah before they're gone. So I've got a couple discs here, a couple mid-ranges. So the first one that I have and I'm gonna be throwing is the Discraft drone. Now this is an ESP drone. It is pretty old. I'm actually not sure how old this is. I've actually picked this up at Play It Again. So I got it used already. It looks like it's been pretty seasoned. When I got it and it was in the bag, I was throwing it um, a lot of forehand. It's very overstable. Starting off with the drone. Next up, I have the Prodigy MX3. This is one that a buddy gave me when I first started playing disc golf. It's been in the bag for a long time. Um, if he still wants it, I might just give it back to him, but I doubt he does. Um, especially after he sees this video, he's going to see how bad this thing sucks. Um, <laughs> no, but this is good. Um, I want to say that this is slightly more stable than a buzz, um, but that's our other one. And then finally, we have, I've been saying the buzz a lot, we have a crazy tough UV foundation buzz. Um, so this is foundation stamped, and you might be wondering right now, why are you holding it like that? Uh, we want to see the stamp on it. It's very cool. As you might be able to tell, this thing is slowly turning another color. It is turning purple. That's what it does in the sun. So if I take my hand off, it's white. That's pretty cool. This is just your classic buzz. Um, so I'm going to be throwing this as well. We're going to pin them up against each other. This one is in the bag currently. It's a little bit too flippy for me. So we might get a new one. Um, but we're going to be pinning these up with, uh, with each other. So we'll see out there. We'll see what happens. All right. So first off that tee, we're going to be throwing the drone. We're going to see how this goes. Um, we'll see. This thing's really overstable. I do like overstable. So... We're going to put it on pretty flat, maybe a touch of any, hang it out a little bit. Um, it is very overstable. Whoa! Almost just aced with it. All right, now we're going to be throwing MX3. I really forget how this flies. I'm going to put it pretty straight. Okay, left it a little short. Still pretty parked up, though. Oh, my back kind of hurts, man. Holy smokes. That's a park job. Okay. Well, we birdied all of them, so. On the hole, too. Oh man, that was just a bad throw too. Oh man. I have no excuses. Those are just three bad throws. That's perfect though. Three bad throws and two squirrels. Here's one right here. I'm gonna get him. 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 <laughs> this is where the buzz landed. The other two are up there a little bit. This is sucks. Okay, well, we parked up shot. Okay. Drone is right here. I can actually put this. Ooh, that was close. Good, run, good bid. Ooh, basket. Looks like everybody's taking a par here. Full three, dead straight ahead. 216. We're going to start with the MX3. Oh, 
Okay, that thing is pretty straight flying. Hoping it'd come back a little more, but that's okay. We'll put the buzz a little bit more inside. Okay, that thing's pretty dead straight too. This drone on that same line is gonna be a lot more money though. Oh, unless I put it in the tree. Oh, and it sneaks through. Okay. Woo! Nope, that one's off. Definitely shouldn't have stepped that, but I missed it anyway, so it's fine. Don't worry about it. No foot fault here. Those are pars. Ladies and gentlemen, this one might be a little bit more of a separator. We got 270, all four. Pretty straight. A lot of guardian trees, though. Once you make it into there, usually you're left with like a 50, 60 footer if you hit one of the first guardian trees. So we're going to start out with the, I don't know if we've started with the buzz. Yeah, we're going to start with the buzz. Just keep it random. I don't even know what order it's going in. That's fair, right? We're going to throw all these on forehand. I haven't tried that out yet. Ah, too much Annie. Nope, that had Annie as well. That's okay if I put Annie on it because that's still going to go right side. Holy smokes, that thing's overstable. A little... Uh, that's pretty good. Take this guy and we are going to put him in the gap. Oh, I hit the one tree. That's okay. It's still putt. Thankfully, my putting is just money right now. We don't miss 20 footers with mid ranges. Oh, we get close though. All right. Everybody saves par. Hole five. There was some lady on that hole that was like filming me and speaking a language I didn't understand. So that was a little weird, but uh, I just kept throwing. Now I'm walking. Well, the drone's gonna have to mount an absolute comeback after that shot because I was very distracted, but don't worry about it. It's okay. Hit the gap, take the par. That was not the gap I was aiming for, but we hit it and we're not taking the par. <laughs> yeah, that's parked. Oh, that was dumb. Falling apart with the drone. Oh my gosh, am I gonna have to scuba out of this? Scuba. That was actually sweet. Oh, money. Oh, all right, we got hole six. In the standings right now, this guy's sitting at even par. These guys are both down one, I'm pretty sure. Dang, that thing's overstable. Oh, I shanked that. It's still okay. Oh, that's why I like you, Mr. Buzz. Oh, never mind, threw too short. That's how close we are to OB. But that's the bucket. That's not that bad. Okay, between those two trees, trick shot. Oh! Not to be. Couple pars, nothing changes. All right, hole seven. The MX3 and the buzz are tied. Drone is down one. Right into a tree. Wow, that's awesome. Burned it into the ground. That was terrible. Wow. Really putting way too much ante on my forehands. I gotta figure that out. Also, my back hurts because my forehand stance sucks. You gotta fix that too. Oh, all right. 
Ah! Oh, won't you take me to Bogey Town? Won't you take me to Bogey Town? Plus, I sink that. Nice. Throw in. Nope. Okay, I want to say everybody's tied up at even right now. So that's interesting. We're going into the final two holes. They're both very long, so let's keep playing. Okay, not bad. Jeez. Woo! That was actually a good shot. All right, this is pretty do or die right here. I have to save far, otherwise things are looking very bleak. Ah, things are looking very bleak. Parked up. Nope, that was bad. Oh, that was just terrible. All right, last hole. It's a darn good thing too, because my back is starting to hurt. Dang, I really like that disc actually. That's going in the bag instead of the buzz. That's what I'm thinking, because the drone's too overstable. I'm gonna lose with it, I'm gonna lose with this, it's fine. That disc though, I'm doing okay with. Okay, I'm just shanking everything right. Not with this guy though. We're gonna shank him left, dang it. That's fine. This is gonna be a tap in. 25 footer. Oh, this one, for absolutely no reason at all, I'm gonna putt from my knees because it's funny. No reason at all. Okay, this is either for the win or for the tie. I'm not sure. If I hit this, this disc definitely wins and makes the bag. No pressure. Well, all right, there you have it. And last place is the drone that is getting sold, unfortunately. Back to where I got it. Here we have the buzz in second place. You know, this has been in the bag for a while, um, but I stopped trusting it uh, as a go-to disc. So, uh, unfortunately, this is probably getting sold to Maybe it'll stay on the shelf a little longer. We'll see if I can convince the wife um, because it is very cool foundation stamped. And finally, the MX-3 is actually gonna be making the bag. So I'm pretty excited that this was the one that is going to be making the bag, honestly, because this used to be in the bag a long time ago. A friend gave it to me and now it's going back in the bag where it belongs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe. We'll see you guys later.